Hey guys, it's Matt Winning at winningstrength.com and today we're at the house and we want to talk on some different topics on what you should have in your kitchen and why. So let's get to it. Records while loose leafing, I'm coming now. My roof leaving, don't give a fuck, I don't care. Uh, did the shit for my lonesome, no wonder now I'm on one. No shortcuts on that long run. All I really want is my share. The first thing is, you guys are probably knowing that I'm already a big fan of the vertical diet. So, beef and rice in all different types is usually what I eat most of the day. I would say 96, 98 percent of the time. Uh, the one big thing that you know, if you want to go back and look at kind of the food styling of how we eat. Um, I would go back and watch Maddox's video. Um, we did a video with Maddox here at the house and I actually fed him and we talked a lot about stuff that we're not gonna cover today. Today what I wanna cover is when you're cooking some things that you need to keep aware of. One, cooking utensils. Now cooking utensils, I like to use just regular wood um, but what I want you guys to work on staying away from is anything Teflon or plastic. You find like going into a lot of people's different houses and even like the firehouses I go to, you're going to find an immense amount of plastics around the kitchen and also in eating utensils. So as I'm cooking, I'm going to stir this beef with a wooden utensil. This has no chemicals, no heavy metals, none of that nature. Okay. The next big thing is when you're drinking, you want to try to stay with glass or stainless steel. Now, a lot of plastic cups and plastic utensils like we talked about are going to have parabens. Now, parabens have been known to cause cancers and raise estrogens, which are usually side by side. If you're trying to get leaner and you're trying to reduce some of the subcutaneous fat and also just have better blood work overall long term, then what you're going to find is that you're going to need to make sure that things that you touch, handle, and eat with on a daily basis don't have a lot of problems or issues down the road. Now, a lot of this stuff is, I wouldn't say unproven, but it's still up in the air. But I will tell you this, going to Europe, there are a lot of places and countries that will not use any plastics on anything because they know the dangers of it. Now, as you can see, I utilize ball glasses. Now, the reason I use these ball mason jars to drink out of is one, it's because they were originally made in my hometown in the late 1800s, early 1900s. So Ball State University, ball glass, et cetera, et cetera. So I like to kind of keep my heritage on that. So if I'm drinking coffee or want something smaller, I'll use this stainless steel type cup. But as you notice in here is that there is no plastics. So all of this stuff is hard. You know, it's all um, ceramic. Ceramic style. Yeah, it's all ceramic style stuff to where we're not going to have any chemical reactions when we're eating, okay? Now, the next big thing is what you cook in. So as you can see, this is made out of copper. So I actually use a copper coated pan. I don't use any Teflon. Teflon has been shown to have all kinds of issues and it's almost available or present in every living thing on earth now due to the amount that we've used Teflon in all types of different products. But cooking with Teflon is bad. Not only is it bad for your stomach, but I believe over the long term, say 20, 30, 50 years, it's really bad for your internal health. So what I like to utilize, cast iron pans are okay, copper pans are okay, but stay away from anything that's aluminum and stay away from anything that has any type of Teflon in it. Okay, now the hardest part is some, most of the rice cookers are gonna be Teflon coated. Some of that you're might not gonna be able to get by with as far as finding ones that are non-Teflon coated. I'm sure there's some that they're made that way, the trick is though, is scoop your rice out of your pans of these with wooden spoons and you're not gonna scrape off the Teflon and ingest it. So that's some big key points that I think are huge for you guys to make sure that what's in the kitchen is not only helping you make gains, but also helping your health in the long run. 
Talk to you guys later. Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss. They ain't wanna help me, that's what made me a boss. You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. We don't give a fuck, that's what they don't understand. I'm back again like flu season. I broke records while loose leaf and I'm coming.